I'm going to show you how to make a moving background in Macro Media Flash MX. So open it up, I already have it open, and have one layer and call it back, or background or whatever. So, uh, and then you're going to take your line tool, you go into properties, and change the thickness to whatever you would like, and the color, and then you're just going to close it back up, and you just go like right there. And then you're going to start to draw your track all the way from the edge of the white all the way to the other end. So all the way over there. And start. Yours should be neater than this because I'm kind of in a rush. You can color it, do all sorts of stuff. You do all sorts of stuff. And you're going to continue the track. So now you can zoom out. That's zooming in. Zoom out to where you can see your whole track. And you're just going to select it all. If you're, no, you're not. You're just going to go up to your first frame. You're not going to select it, like I said. Don't select it. Go to your first frame. Right click. Create motion twin. And you can. this is where your opinion comes in. You can pick any frame. The farther down you are, the slower the track moves. The closer you are, the quicker it moves. If you want a really fast race, you, you go closer. And the opposite. So I'm going to do about 15. Now what, I, what you do is you click on 15, hit F6, and you click in the middle where there should be a blue box. Then you're just going to drag it, keep it in a line. If it jumps out, you can kind of align it and go kind of far until go until the, your edge of the track is on the edge. No go up just a little bit. So you can go like that. Make sure you keep track of how many I would do even numbers and motion twins going forward. So when you add on to your track, it'll still be the same speed. So you can figure out how many motion twins you need to go I mean how many frames you need to go forward during the motion twin. You just kinda kinda figure that out. So then if you go back to frame one and I zoom in, this is what it looks like. Track moves. And whenever you save your flash, you're only gonna get the white box in the middle. When you save your flash, you're only gonna get this. See it mine's repeating, but it won't repeat when you save it. So you're only gonna get the white box there. And if you want to add a character, you make another frame, and you name it whatever, man, to clear, and you're just going to go to the first frame, going to take anything you want, I don't care how you make it, doesn't really matter, and I'm just going to put a dude on the skateboard. I'll show you a little trick if you're doing, making like a dude on the skateboard. Make a dude on the skateboard. And use the line tool. Make sure you get it like this. No, that's not there right there. So, yeah, you're just gonna put the dude skateboard. And then you gotta make more wheels for it. So I'm gonna select this dude because the wheel doesn't I wanna touch the bottom. So I'm gonna move him up for now. And then I'm going to make the wheels. No, that's too close. It's going to be kind of hard, but look at the hang of it. I want wheels on the top of the skateboard. Like that. Yeah, that works for me. They might not look real, but they're wheels. So you can select them, drag them back down. Okay, and you go to your first frame and hit the six. So as you see, it starts to move. You close out the properties. And here's a trick if you're doing like a skateboard movement. When you have them selected, you can right click them 
and you can click rotate and skew and you can just rotate them so he's kind of riding it so that's all you gotta do just go the whole way keep rotating them And you're hitting F6 every time. All the way. Oh yeah, and turn the onion skins on so you can kind of... Actually, for doing the skateboarding like this, it is confusing because you see all these lines and it's kind of hard to tell which one is actually the one because it's kind of confusing. For real, it is. So I'm not gonna do that for this. For other things, do it. But for doing a skateboard thing like this, I would do it because it's kind of hard to figure out which one is actually the one that's there in the frame. So did I move it or not? Okay. And you can do backflips. Anything. Odds are that you're gonna go too far in your frames, so you can always remove that frame right there and insert the keyframe farther down like that and go back to your frame. And you can always do that. So you can go past how long the motion is and experiment with it and stuff like that. Because of the way I'm doing the flip, you went way too far. I'm just trying to right. And that is not good. That means you went past the motion between, but it's still not there. So just hit F6 and just keep it going. There you go. That, if that happens, just go to the end of the motion twin and just F6 all the way to the end. Okay, so you just do that. And you can always go back a frame to see if you moved it or not. I just peak height right there. Don't grab the center, but grab the center. And keep going. Six. It's all about the adjustment. Now he's starting to come down. One more quick. Let's take a look. Six. One more quick. Yeah, there you go. And you can use motion twins on flat, flat track surfaces if you're using something that doesn't need to be walking, like a skateboard. So the skateboard doesn't need to be walking, I mean if your, your person's on like a vehicle, like this kind of, kind of vehicle, it doesn't need to actually have any motion as it's moving, except for going forward or backwards, then you can use motion twins. Which is just like you did the moving track. So I'm gonna do that real quick on this flat surface. Right here. I'm, gonna show you. I'm just gonna show you. Well, actually, I only have that little bit left, but I'm gonna do it anyways. I'm gonna right click, create a motion tween, then I go all the way to the end, the last key frame, and like I did before, so go forward, yep. and then you're gonna drag him. There you go. And that motion at the end. Looks like that. And at the end, the track ends. We just keep the track going all the way to the last one. I said earlier. And you'll get something like this. And that's how to do it. That's how you make a moving track background with the macro media flash. Subscribe, comment, and rate. Thanks for watching.